Hello, my name is Manny, and welcome to my channel. Well, actually, your channel. Manny Runs Disney is going to be a channel where all Run Disney participants, whether you're a seasoned veteran or you're just going to make your first race, this is going to be a channel that you guys can come to. So please comment down below. Uh, let me know what you guys want to hear. Please like, please subscribe, please uh, put the notification button on there so that way whenever there's a video and it comes out, you can see it right away. So without further ado, let's start off today with uh, the first topic. The first topic is going to be if we continue the Disney run starting this year, 2020, which would be the wine and dine in November. What are we going to do? What's going to happen during the run that's going to be different? Well, first off, I'm going to start with transportation because a lot of people are going to ask about transportation from the airport to your resort and then, of course, from your resort to the expo. The expo always comes first. So this is what I think is going to happen with the transportation, which is going to be something similar that they're going to do with the Magic Express and with the buses going around Disney. They will backload the bus first, which means everybody that get, enters first will go to the back and then you'll fill every other row coming forward until the bus is filled. It'll go to the expo. Once we get to the expo, then what happens next is you will, the people in the front will get off first and then it just continue going on until the people in the back. They might even in between sterilize the bus. Uh, so it might take a few more minutes to get back on the bus and get back to your hotel from the expo. Now, speaking about the expo, it's gonna be a little bit different. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to do it conventionally the way that they usually do it. I thought a great way to do it is going to be a reservation system. So if you're staying, for example, like I am at the Pop Century, so you'll make a reservation uh, from 9 to 10. So during that time, you will show up to the bus, the shuttle that is going to take you to the expo. Uh, you will be given a place in line. Uh, you will back load to front load uh, to get to the expo. And I think that way it, it would work. The other way would be just be people getting there and it's going to be a little bit more packed, especially at the beginning. Uh, so I think that that would be some kind of resolution that could help. So once you get to the expo, you're going to go and get your bib. I believe they're going to do something reasonable like social distancing. So people that get there, you know, uh, they're going to you're going to be going to your line wherever your bib is. And once you get there, you sign off. You're going to give you your bib and then you move on. The next person comes and goes and it's going to be social distancing. Now, one question that's going to come up is going to be masks. So I'll go masks uh, in different areas. Will you have to wear a mask in this scenario? My answer is yes. You will have to wear a mask going from your hotel uh, to the expo, to the expo back to your hotel. You will have to get, uh, wear a mask. Next up is going to be the expo itself. What do I think is going to happen with the expo itself? Now this video is indicative of what a typical expo looks like. So as you see, there is no social distancing at this moment in time. So I believe one of the ways that they can handle the expo is to list the vendors online. You can pre-order stuff and then you can show up to pick up your stuff uh, the days that the expo are open. Now be prepared because you will need a mask to go inside the, the expo and there probably will be a line to get into the expo. So just be prepared for that. Now samples. I think samples are going to be harder to give. Uh, you can't give anything that's open samples. So in a cup or in a tray, but I believe that you can put something in a bag that's, that's already something that's already bagged up in a smaller bag. You can put it in a bigger bag hand it to people, they can take it, and that might be a way to give out some samples. So let's get to merchandise. Merchandise is what a lot of people go to the expo for, and that's when they go the first day early in the morning just so they can get the latest merchandise. I hear so many people getting so ticked off when they couldn't get the shirt that they wanted and the size that they wanted. It was sold out, and they saw it on eBay later on that day. So how can we do this uh, with without... Uh, getting people upset. Uh, they used to do this before for certain merchandise. They do it for some already is pre-purchase it. So you can show up, you can go to a section so you can pick up what you pre-purchased. Um, 
and that might be a way, a resolution for everybody to get what they want and not have to sacrifice getting there early, not have to sacrifice having to pay double the price on eBay. As a matter of fact, I got a couple of things that I have pre-bought just in the Disney Marathon. I pre-bought this, uh, this Magic Band and I was able to pick it up and take it back to my room, no problem. So that might be a solution in the short run at least. All right, so we've gone over everything that's gonna go on inside the expo, okay. So once you finish with the expo, it's gonna be the same thing with the bus going back. You are gonna backload, and then once you get to your hotel, which in my case again is Pop Century, you front load out, and now you're set. So now the only thing you have to worry about is race day. So what can happen on race day? Race day is gonna be a little bit harder to do. And one of the reasons is, is because Disney Wine and Dine 2020 completely sold out. And so that means it's at maximum capacity, so it's gonna be harder to keep tabs on all the runners uh, because again, it's maximum capacity. This will give you an idea of how many people are at the starting line at a Disney run. One solution might be is, again, the reservation system for the buses to take you to the start of the race. So the people that are in Corral A get first dibs to get on the bus, they can go, they get uh, put out, they're gonna be uh, in some kind of corrals, they're gonna be some kind of corral system so where there are not gonna be a lot of people in those corrals. Uh, and going back to the masks, I do believe that you're gonna have to wear a mask from your hotel or from wherever you're coming from, your home, your hotel, to the run, uh, to the race, and to your corral. Once you start the run, I believe you can take it off. It would be a great idea because of the humidity and the chance of rain take a plastic bag, put it in there, seal it, put it in your pocket, take an extra one because again, it can slip out of your pocket, you lose your one mask and you still have the other one. So try your hardest to make sure that you got a couple and try to keep them as dry as possible. Now I do believe that once you get to where you're gonna start, there's gonna be a series of corrals that people can go to but I think it's gonna be very, very slow moving uh, forward. So that way, you know, again, the people that are corral A, wave one will be there alone. They take off, here comes corral A, wave two. Uh, they take off and then again, uh, I believe there's gonna be more, cur uh, more waves in the corrals. Will they have the entertainment? I think they will because it is a Disney run, but I think they're gonna encourage people not to hang around they're gonna have just basic, maybe music. Uh, people are still gonna have to stay away, stay within their confines, and um, that's what they're probably gonna do. Now, there probably will be people at the beginning, at the start, which uh, like usually it's uh, Donald, Goofy, Mickey saying three, two, one, go. Fireworks, I believe that will happen. I believe that they're going to have less people in each wave, so usually, Rally will have a couple of waves. I think now it's gonna be five or six and they're gonna to try to distance them and so they start going. I think what they're gonna to try to do is they're gonna to try to have the honor system to where people when they're running and right now when I run with my running partner, we distance ourselves uh, at least six feet away so that way we're safe. Now remember this, Disney is a fun run so it's not a PR run unless you're you're an elite runner and you're in the front, but on the most part, it is not a PR run. So keep that in mind, please. So another thing that goes on is porta potties. Porta potties will be there. So this is what I think was gonna happen. They will have somebody manning that porta potty. Person goes in. When they come out, they will clean the porta potty. Next person goes in. Same thing happens over and over and over. It's a stinky job, but somebody's gonna do it. Now, water stations. That is gonna be interesting. So there's a few ways that you can do this. Number one is you can keep it the way that you do uh, right now. So, but it's gonna be one water cup at a time. So you put out one water cup, person comes by, picks it up, goes. Another one goes by, picks it up, goes. It's gonna be hard to do and people are gonna to have to be very, very patient and very, very nice to each other, uh, allow people to go grab their water and move on. Another way that they can do it is just give the water bottle out 
and of course the people uh, that are handing them out are gonna have gloves on. Just give a whole water bottle out. Your person will grab the uh, water bottle and that should be able to suffice for a while. Um, I know other runs are doing to where they're gonna have places that you can fill up. I believe that that might be a little bit dangerous because after a while everyone's gonna be touching that where you fill up. And so I believe that that's gonna be something that uh, won't do. Uh, I believe that you can have that one water bottle, drink it all. Once you get to the next trash cans, you throw that out. Uh, a couple of miles, two, three miles down the road, another water bottle, so you can do that. Uh, same thing has to do with uh, Powerade, same things has to do with uh, anything else that they give, bananas, the, um, the, little, uh, the little beans that they give. Uh, so all these things I think are gonna be in the, same, in the same boat where they're gonna just hand them out one by one and you guys can pick them up and keep running on through. All right, so the next big thing is gonna be pictures with characters. This is one of the reasons that people do the Disney runs to begin with. They love the characters. Well, I hate to say this, but it's not gonna happen the way that they used to be. So what I believe is one of two things can happen. All right, well, number one, uh, they do have those cut cutout boards that really, really are lifelike and they look like the characters, the eyes and the face and uh, moves, the mouth, everything moves. So what can be done then is you can take a picture there, they can wipe it down, next person comes in, take a picture there, wipe it down, and you continue going like that. Now there is some camera trickery that we can do. For example, there is, char uh, there is characters there in the background and through camera trickery, it looks like you are closer to the characters than you really are. That might be something that Disney does because they're gonna have people taking cameras, uh, taking pictures anyway during the run. Now, one thing that's not gonna happen is you're not gonna be able to grab your phone, give it to them, and they're gonna take a picture. That's not gonna happen. So just be prepared that that won't happen. So now we are about to finish the race. So what's gonna happen is again, the honor system. So where that people are gonna distance themselves. Uh, I think it's gonna be, this year should be a lot easier for people to say, hey, I'm not gonna sprint and go in between those two runners. So I'm just gonna kind of cruise it in. Remember, it's not a PR race. Disney runs are not made to, uh, PR stands for personal record. You're, you know, most people are not gonna get a personal record at a Disney run. All right, uh, with that said, you're gonna run through, you are going to get your medal. So I believe the same thing is gonna happen with the medals where they're gonna put them out in a table. People are gonna be wearing masks, hands, uh, uh, gloves on the hands, hand them out, grab it, keep going. Same thing, same principle there. Everybody's gonna have to be nice to each other. Everyone's gonna have to take their time and it's gonna take a little bit longer, but you can do that. Same thing with the extra medals, so the challenge medals. Um, same thing with the water at the very end, same thing with the fruit, same thing with the, the box, uh, the, box sna the snack box that they give you at the very end, which has not been as good as it used to be. Bring back the Oreos for God's sakes. So now you finished your run, you're gonna go take pictures again, the same thing that happened um, during the run and actually before the run, I forgot about that. During, before the run, there is picture ops, so they might do the same thing where you're in the back, you're in the forefront and the characters in the background, or they're gonna have some kind of cutout that's a little bit more lifelike. So that might be something that you can do. Still family meets will be, uh, will be there. So you'll go meet your family. Again, same principle when you go back to your hotel. Fr uh, back load first, then all the way to the front, and then once you get to your hotel, uh, front gets off first and so forth and so on. Uh, I think that's a feasible way of having these runs and not being worried about it. In a future video, I will talk about whether I think these runs are going to happen or not. Uh, and I do have some information that may help explain why I believe they may or may not happen. But please keep coming back for information. Please comment down below. Please uh, like, please uh, subscribe, and please put that notification button, uh, the no notification bell, so that every time there's a video like this comes out, you will be the first one notified. Uh, you can see it, you can comment down below and say, I like this, I didn't like this. How about you talk about this a little bit more? How about you talk about this a little bit less? Whatever it is, remember this is gonna be your channel. And this is Manny, 
logging off, thank you, and create a great run. A special shout out to my sponsor, Accent Travel Agency Incorporated. Please call Becky today to make your next Disney reservation.